Hey guys! So a few weeks ago I've uploaded a video all about recording VCV rack in Reaper with using reroute um, but what if you want to send signals from the outside world like audio from other synths into VCV rack or sending clock signals from VCV rack to hardware sequencers or if you have something like the expert slippers modules or a DC coupled audio interface sending control voltage into VCV rack or out of VCV rack from Reaper with using re route so here in vcv we have uh, something already going on here and um, of course it's set to reroute uh, in the audio module and it's being also recorded in reaper so it's uh, it sounds like this and in reaper it will look like this you can see i'm already uh, also recording the microphone but here i have another track another channel recording everything what's coming out of vcv rack very nice, let's just mute this for a second. And here I have also um, the key step from Arturia. It's sending gates and pitch information to the make noise O coast. Now I want to send the audio from the O coast into VCV rack. So I have it already connected to my audio interface. And in Reaper, let's have a look, we will add another track let's name it um o coast to vcv this will be its name now in my case um it goes into input one on my interface so this is also what i will choose here in the inputs section i will go to mono in my case it's called analog one now let's go to the IO section and I will take it first of all out of the master send um, because I don't want to hear this track twice. I wanted to play only out of VCV rack and under audio um, hardware outputs we will choose uh, the channel we want to use in VCV rack. So let's use in this case reroute 1 make sure the levels are up of course let's set the or arm this track for recording and you can see that it's already starting to record and also set it to monitor now if i play the um, key step you can see that we have a signal also already going to this um, track and in vcv um, it will come out of output one on the audio interface. Again, this is what we have set up in Reaper. So let's send this to the mixer and have a listen. Let's just unmute everything. So this is the O coast. Going to Reaper and from Reaper um, to VCV rack. Now the key step and VCV rack are not synced. Um, so let's mute this um, for a second and let's use the clock from VCV as the master clock. And for this, you will need an extra output on your interface. And if you don't have an extra output, um, you can always use MIDI or make the key step or the sequencer you're using the uh, master. So let's send the um, clock multiplied by 24 to input eight in this case on the audio module and i chose a multiplied by 24 clock because that is the clock resolution i have set on the key step and in reaper we will add another track let's name it now a um, clock from vcv just like this and by the way you don't need a dc coupled interface in order to send the clock signal this will work with any audio interface now let's set the input of this track to um rear route 8 again this is what we have set in vcv again mono rear route 8 and um, let's take it again out of the master send this is really important because in this case the clock signal can hurt your monitors or headphones so be sure to take it out of the master send and in my case the uh, clock will come out of output one on my interface so this is what i will select under audio hardware outputs it will be analog one again make sure the levels are up now let's arm this track for recording 
and already you can see we have a signal and it's recording already let's also monitor it and now I can make uh, the connections so let's go back to the key step and I have here a cable and this will go to the sync input of the key step just like this let's just make this take this out of the way very nice now let's um, go back to VCV let's stop the clock I will unmute also everything very nice and go back to the key step and now I will arm this the key step so it's waiting for the external clock and in VCV let's start the clock <music> Oh yeah. So now they are in sync. Again, what I've done, I stopped the clock. Let's go back to the key step. I will hit stop and now I will arm it. So it will wait for the external clock. And in VCV rack, I just start the clock. have you already a sequence going uh, programmed on the key step now we can send also the all cost through some processing in VCV like let's say some delay with chrono blob 2 so let's take it out of the mixer into chrono blob take a sync chrono blob with our clock let's change this also to a mono delay very nice take maybe the weight a bit down maybe some less feedback send it back to the mixer we can add also some reverb maybe a bit less reverb. oh yeah and again this is all being recorded in Reaper so it looks like this we have the clock you can see it's recording but it's not going to the uh, master send the all cost is being recorded my microphone of course and also VCV rack is uh, being recorded out of the master output very nice And again, you can send also control voltage into and out of VCV rack. Just make sure to take the master send out so the signals will not reach your speakers or headphones. Um, and that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any more questions. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. Let's do something like this. Oh yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.